Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Wine Stuff and Wine podcast. I am Andrew Perry. Across the table, Evan McDonald and Jesse McDonald. We are the hosts of the podcast, and today we have a super cool guest, Astra Marquis. Hello. International sommelier. That's right. Certified. Wow. Certified. In Canada, the United States as well. Wow. That right. is incredible. We're going to learn right. something yeah. today. Yeah, so the first time on the wine show that we've had, uh, like a super, super professional who's going to be able to tell us what we're drinking and how to drink it. Oh, I'm excited to do that for you. That's I brought today a beautiful wine, a right. local sparkling wine. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we're it's talking. the 2016 Brut Rosé from 2027 Cellars. And I was going to say, wait, 2027. That year hasn't come yet. <laughs> no, no. Uh, they were established in 2007. Oh, there you go. And they took their name from literally the last four digits of their Ontario licensing number as a corporation. Wow. Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. That's interesting. It. Creative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let me show it to you. It's 100% Pinot Noir. And what the, what the winemaker does is he focuses on single vineyards. Okay. This vineyard is actually in Jordan Valley, uh, the Niagara Peninsula, on 20 Mile Bench. And uh, it's 100% Pinot Noir, as I said. One of the things we do wonderfully in Niagara and Ontario, really, um, is Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Why that's fantastic? Those are the traditional grapes in a Champagne. Wow. Mm. Not one drop spilled. Yeah. No. That was impressive. impressive. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Yeah. I'm a professional. I told you guys. <laughs> yes. But um, the other thing we're using today is proper wine glasses. They are not champagne flutes. And oh. I'll tell you, it's for a reason. That's not just because, you know, we didn't have flutes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but this has such fine, delicate aromas that the wider bowl of the glass allows for those mm. to really waft up to the nose and really tempt the senses before you even drink. Mm. Very nice. Tempting the senses. Now Bring we're talking. Over. Pretty excited about this. Yeah. Sparkling is uh, yeah. kind of my thing. <laughs> yeah. One of the reasons why we want to use flutes is that it really will um, keep that bubble, that fine string, that pearl really flowing. But this has such a beautiful sparkling mousse that those bubbles are persistent even in the wider, wider glass. Oh, nice. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so you'll notice a little bit of an orange sort of onion skin, super pale pink. And that's coming from that kiss of the Pinot Noir skins. I'm going to bring this to my nose. We're going to put our noses right in, right in. Breathe in deep. And there's a little bit of a yeasty quality, like almost fresh, break, fresh baked bread. Yeah. And a little bit of sort of that apple flavor yes. characteristic that's really notorious in, uh, in champagnes. This is a traditional sparkling wine that is done in the Champagne method. We can't call it Champagne because right. it's not from the Champagne region, but do we ever do a beautiful sparkling here in Niagara? Yes. Mm. Let's bring it to our lips. Okay. It's amazing. How is that? That's good. <laughs> but I'm, trying to th I'm trying to think. So this is the thing now. So now I'm trying to like... Uh, figure out what I'm actually tasting after our experience lately. <clears throat> yeah. Now I'm getting like a, I'm, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at like picking things but out. But this is our first. There's a lot to pick out here. This, this is our first bubbly though. Isn't yes, it? it is. Okay. Cause I, I just, just have such a hard it's time. It's a complicated bubbly because it's a hundred percent Pinot Noir. So we're getting some red berry flavors in there. Mm. Nice tart strawberry, a little bit of cranberry. Um, I'm surprised it's not redder. Yeah. So, yeah, and that's all done at the winemaker's discretion and the oh. restraint that he's shown um, in letting the skins touch the juice for just that perfect amount of time just to get the color and not to overpower any of those sort of delicate aromas that might otherwise be muted. Mm. 
It, it gives it a, a really nice color, though. It's a like beautiful color. Like, it's very color. fancy. Mm-hmm. Like, rose gold. Like, yeah, rose gold, yeah. And it's I don't know gold. if I've ever seen a wine this color. I can't say that I have. This color is typical of the wines of Provence, yeah. of France, the south of France. This sort okay. of onion skin, light, light salmon color. And um, it's just a, a, it's the blush that is, to me, it speaks of a dry, crisp, bright, lively wine. So here I get a lot of citrus flavors. It's definitely got this lovely, lovely acid sort of thing. (laughs) Uh, This sort of like nice acid rush through the cheeks. It's mouth watering. But then I also get a lot of berry flavor Mm -hmm. and a little bit of that hint of biscuity, bready goodness that comes from the winemaker letting this sit on its lees for 30 months in this case. Oh, wow. Mm. So two and a half years. That's wild. Waiting for you to have this sip <laughs> right now. So do we ever see a red, like a red wine that's not a sparkling where they do this, where they try to lighten the color? I would call that a rosé. Okay. That's no. really what a rosé wine is. So a rosé wine is usually one that's had its skins pressed off the grapes yeah, and left in contact for maybe 12 to 48 hours. It doesn't take much. Okay. And the deeper the color usually tells you a hint on what kind of grape varietal you're using in that rosé wine. Something like a Syrah, Shiraz, Cabernet Sauvignon. These are really dark grapes yeah. with thick skins that give off a really bright cherry hue um, to a rosé wine. If you were to take a Pinot Noir, such as we have here, it's a really thin-skinned grape. It's a pretty sensitive little guy and uh, doesn't give <laughs> off as much. It really is. It's a heartbreak grape, they say, the, in the <laughs> vineyard. It can, oh. um, it can go either way, the Pinot Noir. But we've got the climate for it and the terroir and the soils. <laughs> This vineyard is called the Edge Rock Vineyard that 2021 Cellars has um, purchased their grapes from. They're all hand harvested and they were pressed in huge, just whole clusters. So um, you get this sense of local, it's a local fingerprint, the terroir, this um Beautiful sort of reclaimed, it was a limestone quarry. And we know that limestone makes a beautiful soil for um, a note of minerality in our wine, for lean, crisp wines. We do Chardonnays really well, Rieslings, Pinot Gris. And I could have brought any of those today, but it's so dark outside and dreary <laughs> why not <laughs> bubbly yeah why not sp- you know add a little sparkle to your every day hey yeah. now we're talking about a little it. sparkle i like mm, it yeah Ooh. absolutely <laughs> and you can i mean can we talk about price here of yeah, yeah, yeah of course yeah. this retails for 45 dollars. wow and i think this taste experience worth, yeah, absolutely it. it would rival your 80 dollar champagne from the i think so liquor store yeah Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I love this. But it's funny really though, nice. like, because I'm all, I'm trying more and more, because like our like our background is like in being like athletes, we're training full time, didn't drink much, and like we've said it a couple of times that like our focus when <laughs> like when you're drinking was like for the outcome, right? Yeah, <laughs> just not to, for the experience, just to have a good time. And then now, like we take, I, I'm really starting to really enjoy wine and food and pairing and everything else. Yeah. So we're trying to pull out the flavors and it's funny because like i'm always like grasping at like what it is that i smell or that i taste but like yeah. when you explain it first of all like the way you explain wine you can tell yeah you that passion was for yeah it. yeah it's i know I'm, I'm just like yeah it's like you're reading a textbook i, I know like, that's, where are a, the notes? that's outrageous yeah but uh really well done you could see the cool. passion that you oh, you yeah. love wine uh yeah. so it's really the cool people who make this bottle here they love wine ontario loves wine niagara loves wine Mm. and we do it so well there's a lot of passion to be found for the land and for the grapes here yeah yeah absolutely such treasures to be found (laughs) yeah yeah i agree yeah this is delicious so you chose this wine now is there a story behind why you chose this wine like something that drew you to or just that you like it 
I think the... I think this particular uh, winery is is unique because it's 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 virtual. Yeah. Okay. So they don't have a necessarily they don't have a, a winery in a state. Oh. But to me, that is fantastic because the winemaker now has at his at his fingertips so many different plots of vineyards that he can choose his fruit from. So he's not necessarily stuck with whatever fruit pr- is produced on his estate. Huh. And the fact that it's virtual, what we've done in the last 24 yeah. months yeah, yeah. <laughs> is really, we've taken our lives virtual. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I don't know, it just speaks to me, but also I love sparkling. So this to me is one of the best sparklings in the area. Yeah. And um, I'm happy to share it with you. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, good choice. This is Jesse's. This is Jesse's thing. Every time we have wine, people ask her all the time, "What What, what do you like?" And she's like, "Bubbles." Bubbles. <laughs> yeah. Bubbles are fantastic because you can really open them up any time of day. I would be hard pressed to find a reason at 11 a.m. to open up <laughs> a, a Barolo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, or something I love my like Nebbiolo, a... but um, it'll be around 7 p.m., 10 yeah. p.m. till I open that bottle. Yeah. Just, you know, personal preference. 11 a.m. opening a bottle of sparkling, no problem. It's acceptable socially, and it's acceptable <laughs> yeah. to the yes. palate. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The palate is always ready for, for sparkling. It's true. Yes. And it also just makes your mouth ready for whatever is to come. For example, you've got some cheeses in front of you. You've got some um, cured meats as well. Perfect pairing. But to be honest, this would go just as well uh, with fried chicken. I love fried chicken. Uh, or <laughs> like a fried calamari. Um, yeah. 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 As That's my go-to app. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so it's, it's versatile and... Um, this one I wouldn't necessarily mix into a cocktail because I do love it so straightforward, and there is a lot to get out of the glass. But um, other sparklings, absolutely. Uh, mimosas are my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. And then, and then so to have a passion for wine like this, obviously something led you down the path uh, to becoming a sommelier. Yes. Right? And something led you to Niagara. So... Let's let's go a little deeper now. We've we've dug deep into this bottle of wine. Let's talk about you a little bit. Where sure. uh, how'd you end up here? How do you end up being a sommelier and uh, you know with your passion being yeah. in wine the way it is? I moved to Niagara on the Lake from Toronto, Ontario, and Niagara on the Lake to me was a tourist town of wineries. I wanted to go to all of them, and I did go to all of them. <laughs> and then I started spending so much time at the wineries that I decided. I need to do something else other than spending money <laughs> in order to be here. You know, I need to I needed to make that transition from consumer to some sort of producer, some sort of sales. And um I do love people. I love talking to people. I love selling. I can sell anything to tell you the truth. I've sold wine I've sold dental equipment I've sold fashion jewelry you <laughs> name it I can do it but our next realtor over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no 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 I didn't say real estate <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say real estate um yeah so I ended up taking a course a friend of mine said you've got to take this course and I said sure I don't know if I'm really ready for it but you should sign up for it okay okay I will Lo and behold, it is the Certified Sommelier course at Niagara College. Wow. And I'm kind of stuck there, and I'm thinking, this isn't really what I thought I was taking. <laughs> but um, I love a challenge, and I knew it would get me where I wanted to be in Niagara and doing what I loved, where I loved it, and being with wine. It was just a match made in heaven. Once I was certified, it was off to the races. Yeah. yeah. So how did uh, wh- what brought you to get certified in the states as well? The court, travel or the courses? Is the it court multi- of master sommeliers is yep. uh, internationally uh, renowned. Okay. So when they come to um, 
do their certifications, that they will bring in master SOMs, and it's a fantastic learning experience. If you've ever seen the Netflix documentary or documentary SOM, yes, yeah, okay. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that Great. that is the court of masters. Wow. And that is the process that I saw and I knew I could do yep. and do well. And I did it. That's amazing. I did it. Yeah. I need, I, I need to watch that apparently. I mean, you need to watch good. it. Yeah. 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 It's pretty true and faithful to the way it is um, in real life, the way the exams work and how hard um, students prepare yeah. for um, being tested on facts and knowledge. Uh, you really have to become a Rolodex of wine flavors, tastes, vintages, years, laws, yeah. geography. It's a lot. That is work. crazy. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot, but if it's a passion, of course, yeah, I bet. Then it's it's really wonderful, and it's something I thought I would only be able to do once I was retired. You know, you're working at something and you love wine, and maybe when I'm retired, I'll take a course or start tasting more and more, yeah. but. Here I am at 43, far from retirement, and... It's what you do. Living yeah. out, yeah, those dreams. Mm-hmm. So it's fantastic. That's awesome. As they say, it's Niagara, place of dreams. Place it of is dreams. a place of dreams. <laughs> yeah, it truly is. Well, truly. Um, because, and when I say it's hard, it's because I took um, wine courses in college as well. Those aren't wine courses. <laughs> They're very hard. I'm teasing, I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> We, I took wine courses at <laughs> university too. My so, college days were full of wine, but not not <laughs> yeah. not professionally. I'm teasing. I'm I'm I guessing know. that you went to Brock. No, I went to uh, Fanshawe. Actually. Okay, okay. Uh, I went to university in Nipsing to become a teacher, and then I and then I backed out of that, and um, I went to like sports club management. So like uh, chalets, ski hills, golf courses, all that stuff, gyms. And Fridays we would have the wine classes, and I was just like, I feel like I pass, but just barely. But it was very difficult because they're like, "What well, grape? What region?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I don't know. What do you taste?" I'm like, "I don't know." Uh, my Jew, there, my palate was probably destroyed from all that bush or lucky lager that I was drinking for cheap (laughs) so no I I mean obviously you you have you're very humble about it because it is a difficult process but it's great that you have so much passion towards it Andrew a lot of what we do is deductive reasoning it's really knowing what is in the glass and working backwards Breaking it all down. Breaking it all down to the nitty gritty. It is amazing though when you see somebody actually like be able to break down like region. And of course. To, oh, yeah, to grape, to like, I, I find it shocking because I'm like trying to like say like what I, what I taste, let alone like what it is. Yeah. Right. Like I'm like, I, I don't know yeah. what it is. Do I, and when you, someone says like apple and you're like, yes, that's it. <laughs> and then when you said like it had like that yeast, like a bit of a yeast smell. I would have never said that. But then when you said it, I'm like, there it absolutely. Is. Yes. Yeah. Yep, good. That's you a beautiful it. thing. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing, yeah. yeah. And, and so you, you came from Toronto. Yes. Uh, how long ago? I moved here in 2010. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. And what was the, the big draw for you? I moved because my husband needed to find a practice, a family practice. He's a doctor. Um, that was in a rural area. Outside of the GTA. Oh, okay. And with my little brain th- ticking, I thought to myself, well, the cutest little rural area that I know. <laughs> <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> and it really is the most charming town in this it country. Is. It's yeah. Niagara on the Lake. Nick, you've got to come see this place. It's gorgeous. He's from Vancouver, so he hadn't been around oh. um, the area. And once we did do the tour, it was love at first sight. We, at first, um, lived on the Niagara Parkway, okay, which was lovely. It was so beautiful. I, myself, prefer more of a subdivision. I don't know why I'm saying this out loud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's okay. That's, that's what okay. the show's about. Yeah. 
I actually like having neighbors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people do. Yeah. It just made me feel much more at home. You yeah. Know, I'm yeah. from the GTA. I'm from Thornhill. And it, Thornhill. Love yeah, it. Yeah. It was, yeah. you know, cookie cutter houses everywhere. Yeah. Not that I want that or expect that here in the, this neighborhood mm. or this area, but it just felt nice to have neighbors across the street and next to me and behind yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, it's very comforting. No, well, we moved from Lakeshore Road, which is all farmland, yes, to uh, the garrison, the old garrison. And yeah, you're right. There's almost uh, a comfort yeah. when you move into a subdivision, yes. right? Especially when we got kids. And I'm on a small <laughs> crescent, so I wouldn't call it like a major subdivision, but it's, no. it's not you know a kilometer wide expansive river across the yeah, street right. from me. Most of, most of Niagara Lake is pretty snug, though. Like, yeah. even, like, all of Old yeah. Town. Like, everybody's Old got neighbors. so snug. And it's, like, walking distance to kind of everything. And yes. yeah. you could be... No matter where you are. Which obviously was not like that uh, 10 years ago, where if you were in a subdivision, you might have had to drive somewhere to get to the next amenity. But now, in the last 10 years, it's just grown so much yeah. that, uh, while keeping its charm, as you mentioned, that you can walk to Phil's. You can walk to... Um, the Garrison House, you know what I mean? Yes. I'm in St. David's. Okay. So um, I can, I'm so happy to say that I can walk to Ravine. Yes. Here. Yes. And that's my local. Walk to the local. tennis courts, the walk golf the courses, Absolutely. the Bruce Trail. Yeah, my little corner stores right there. Yeah, the Avondale. Yeah. All the kids on my street walk to Little St. David's Public School. It's adorable. Yeah, that yeah. is cool. It's a charming, yeah. adorable place to be. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah, it is very nice. So we want to know. Oh, yes. If you were to go on date night in Niagara on the Lake, what would you pick? Okay, so I, I'm going to have to just revisit the last few date nights that I've had with my husband and we're going to go back to the summer since he's so busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but walking to Ravine, date night, obviously, you know, you could Uber, but the best thing to do is walk around town. So yeah. we would walk to Ravine and sit outside and order a pizza and drink beer, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sacrilege at a winery. Yeah. Beer and a pizza. Yeah. 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 So happy. Um, the other place we walk to is called Grist. Okay. And yes. they're a brand new brewery house that also serves pizzas and they and I believe they make a very good jalapeno burger, I'm told. I haven't had it yet, mm. but um that's one other place. But if I don't want to do anything winery winery related or run into like industry professionals, <laughs> my husband and I will duck out on, you know, a Friday night and we'll head out for a Vietnamese pho at this cute little oh. place that has, um, it used to be a 50s diner, so it's still got those diner benches and we sit on this like hard little red bench <laughs> and we eat our Vietnamese pho. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Is, it, is it the one I that's like the, the donut shop? Or I no. think it's next to a donut shop, or it's called Phone 999. Oh, okay, Phone 999. I know yeah. the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We love Phone as well. Yeah. And we're yeah, getting into Phone season, for sure. Oh, yeah. Phone oh, show. Yeah. 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 It's Phone yeah. fo fo season. That's not it, even how you say it, though. Right? It's From pho. other times. Pho, right? Pho, yeah. apparently. See, there you go. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then, yeah, no, I've heard it on Facebook, and everyone's like, I don't like the people who say Pho right. right. Pho. It's called Pho. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with pho. I'm fine with pho. <laughs> it's made it's, it's delicious. Like, exactly. It is delicious. Yeah. yeah. I never really knowed, knowed. I never really knew how to order it because I'm like, what? Medium rare? rare? How, like, what? How does that work? Yeah. And then it's like, it all depends on when they put it in, I guess. Is that right? I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, or the temperature of the... Because the soup cooks the meat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I didn't That's know right. that. But I thought they served pr maybe like there was like different batches that were at different temps too. Maybe. Ooh, See? that's fancy. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because if it's not as hot, then it's going to cook slower. It's going to cook completely, right? Yeah. If it's not as hot, you're going to be a little more rare. I used to just rare. order them all because yeah. I didn't know what they were. It's the ultimate comfort food though. It's delicious. I usually oh, go to so Faux and make up my own um Yeah, I'll have that, desire. put that on. Pretty much. That in. Yeah. I have the most complicated order ever. <laughs> that's it's always amazing. That's so funny. And it's always amazing. Isn't yeah. that the best part? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just whatever it is. Yeah. I don't know. L let's have a serious conversation, though. 
Sure. Cilantro. What's up with that on top Ooh, of the faux? You guys like that? Cilantro. Cilantro. That's cilantro, right? I that think they put on the faux? Yeah, yes. Thai basil? Yes. Yeah. Is I, this separate from the Thai basil? It's a, a fresh Herb. garnish yeah. okay. that they put on. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's cilantro. And it's just, I don't know. I, I'm not a cilantro guy, I don't think. I think you asked not to put it on. The interesting. Yeah, but I forget every time. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting though, because I feel like everybody has their way. Like I'm not, I'm not a faux soup person, but every person I go to to faux who orders a soup, they all have their way of making their soup. Yeah, they have their little like, yeah, like the different sauces that they're gonna Ooh. add. Whether they put those little uh, beans on, I love those bean sprouts. Yeah, mm-hmm. I put them all in. Put a crunch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> we need a faux place in uh, Niagara Lake, apparently. We do. Apparently. Start now. Yeah. Now that we know, we all love it. Fall and wine. Yeah. <laughs> Fall and wine. There's a combo. Fall and wine. Oh, Fall and wine. We're nags on the lake. No, that's a tough pairing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fall and wine podcast. Yeah, yeah. apparently. Got me stumped. Yeah. So okay. So I've got the answer. The answer is always sparkling. Okay. Yes. Yeah, this is it. I was going right. to say, what are we going to pair with the fall? And so. You mentioned you like the pizza and beer combo and yes. then grist because I haven't been to grist yet. Yeah, neither were we. So what are your thoughts? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? They make a good pizza. Yeah? They make a good pizza and they do some good calamari. Okay. okay. So actually, I've heard that twice now, the calamari. I've so heard only good things about Chris. Only good things. It's yeah, been, it's, it's so getting, lovely it's to have. It's off to uh, a great start for sure. Yeah. And so if I'm going there... I love that I can walk there, you guys. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yes. Very and nice. what do you what what's the go to pizza if I were gonna go if I were to go and you said, Angie, you gotta try this place, it's got great pizza. What am I putting on it? Um Or do they have like their own? I think that's just like Preference. you know, the way Jesse was talking about pho. Uh, <laughs> everybody just everybody has, has their, their own. own. Their own yeah. way. Yeah. It's I, tough though because pizza like I there's a lot of people around here, and then the wood-fired oven thing is taken off, yes. right? Yes. So, like, Two Sisters is doing a good pizza. Yep. Uh, Ravine's doing a good pizza. Obviously, Gris is doing a good pizza. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, like, Rafino's, one of our favorite places to go, does a great pizza. Absolutely, it does. But still, I feel like nobody's able to crack the New York City pizza code. It's the it's the oh. mozzarella cheese that they uh, call Buffalo cheese or buffalo yeah. mozzarella. Because we, we, were, we were there recently, and it's like... There's this pizza place that we go to every time we go down there, but it's like it's like I wish someone could nail that it's, pizza it's here. F- it's funny. It's such thin crust, and then the the big slabs of of yeah. cheese. It's just I like think the that's flop. a that's a like distinctly American New York style. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? I think it is. Well, because mm. I've I've it's funny you say that because I've tried to like there's a whole bunch of like restaurants of Niagara like all these Facebook groups. Yes. And I took a picture of a snapshot, and I was like, "Who can cook this?" And nobody really could give me a straight answer. I guess just no one, maybe no one even tries because it's like, that's New York City's thing. Well, I mean, I do like just a cheese pizza from Sand Trap. It's pretty good, too. That's the closest I've gotten. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a margarita girl myself. Ooh, mm-hmm. I love a margarita. margarita pizza. Yeah. That's really good, Is that too. just tomatoes and cheese? Tomato sauce, basil, yeah. mozzarella. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so we've talked about kind of your date night. What about other than food? What do you like to do here? Oh, I shop a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. If it, yeah. I love shopping too. I'm so bad at it, but I'm so good. <laughs> it's bad. You're keeping yeah. the stores alive here. In yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I shop a lot at the um, Niagara Collection, the yeah. outlets at uh, Niagara. Yeah. And that Saks Fifth Avenue, I think I keep them in business. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's not a purse that I couldn't say to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of like um, like a Marshalls kind of guy. Okay. Everybody oh, thinks I, that do, I do Marshalls too. Yeah, yeah Marshalls Please. is good too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody thinks I've got like such Spread great well. style <laughs> that like people will call me like, hey, uh, I heard you're into the fashion. Uh, let's do custom suits. I can come over to your house. I'm like, yeah, sure. How much? Like 1000 bucks, 15 I'm like, wait, what? 
I'm like, this here, I got the $34.99. These kicks, $39.99. Are these friends local, though? Because welcome to Niagara. You can get anything at the outlet. There's a Hugo yeah. Boss right there. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's right. Yeah. Which uh, Christmas is coming up, and we got to think about what we're going to wear. Yes. For all these Christmas parties. Yeah, we're back to parties. Yeah, yeah. thank gosh. We're having, par- we're having parties again. Yeah. yeah, and that's obvi- that's where we just met. Was that the fun? What was the fundraiser we were at? Pink Pearl. Called? Pink Pearl. Pink Pearl. Yeah. That's Pearl. right. Yeah. Yeah. And you go, you were at the girls' event fighting over purses. Yep. Yeah, bingo right? purse. Designer all, purse. It's bingo. All girls yes. except for Ted Very. Bolt, who won. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that went into OT. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Two two women uh, won at the exact same time for like for the grand the, prize. The grand prize. Yeah. It was yeah. So then they had to do like a bingo off. <laughs> Bingo where, off. Where they had to, what did they do again? Did they? Uh, it was like a bingo off. Yeah. yeah, I've never seen it happen before, but it needed to happen in order to find out true <laughs> winner. Yes, there needed to be well, one they get winner. Fresh cards and and play bingo until someone won. Yeah. Sudden death bingo. I think they picked Sudden a number. Sudden death bingo is what it was. <laughs> well, it sounds yeah. sounds good. It was fun. I just picture it now. That's what I'm laughing. Yeah. So we. So I've actually been now to two charity events with you. Yeah. So you are involved in in charity. I do enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to go out, I go out anyways. Why yeah. not for a good reason? Yep. Yeah. And do you have one in particular that, or like one that's like more passion or? I am not partial to any dinners. I will go to them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Me too. I love it. I will go to all the dinners. Yeah. yeah. I, I would say the one that I miss the most is Pro Gloves. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, yes. And that. That uh, I'm, I'm hoping that next, yeah. Yeah. next year it comes. Did you back. go to that one? I did. Okay. Was there I sometimes some... wonder could I make it in the ring? Yeah, I too. actually think that you could, Jesse. I could take you on in the ring. No, I'm not going to. That gonna... sounds risky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know no you're an uh, Olympian. <laughs> <laughs> the bingo off. You the bingo sh- off. You uh, you should. You should. You should apply. Well, when are is we it on? Doing this? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know when. I don't know. I don't think it's happening this year because of COVID. Is there actually punches to that? Yeah, but you have a little bit of have you not you've you've like you have been to it? I donated, but I never on. got to oh go. Oh my god! So like it's, I think it's probably one of the best run events in Niagara. Yeah, that's so cool. Where it's yeah. like it, it really is. Didn't it's, we have like a big revel sign or like letters or something? Uh well, because Jen D'Amico was right. like, was a fighter the one year. Yeah, yeah. But, but they but take it seriously. The, like by the time like the, 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 the training for it, like people it's get life changing they, they, for a lot of they the get athletes. Into it. Wow. Yeah. yeah, because what, they, what do you they, mean for they, the athletes? They, what's, what's that? There's actual athletes on there too. Yeah, see, well, Jesse, well, you of. just said athlete, and now I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, 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 I'm pulling out. I'm, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. No, nobody <laughs> has a background <laughs> in fighting, oh, okay. and actually, like I've actually known like a quite a few people event. now that have trained for it. I think yeah. the training is like around six months or something like that. So you you get picked to do it, and then you'll uh, you but they they track the training and it's on social media. And, but it raises, they raise a ton, a ton of money. A ton of money. Yeah. yeah. Sounds. I like awesome. how you were in it. They, you were, no, I, I, I want to do it. Like Wait, there's fighting? Six months of training? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got to be ready. So who's training? So does this mean we can get free personal training for six months? Yeah, you're in. Probably. All right, let's do this. I couldn't give up wine for six months. You no, don't no. have to give up wine. No, 80-20 rule. Be, thank as God. long as you don't hit your protein and calorie cap. <laughs> <laughs> Something I'm learning now. <laughs> Something I'm learning. I keep being tricky my desk. Anyway. All right. Well, we're getting close to the end here. Yeah. What? Um, let's let's try and uh, let's. Yeah, it was, it was last, great. Last yeah. last couple questions. Yeah. yeah. Let's try and wrap it up. Anything for us? You got any questions for us? Sometimes people have questions for yeah, us. Yeah, I do want to know how you how did you like the wine? I think it was amazing. I love it. I I still am trying to figure out what it is that I taste in it because it has like this distinct flavor, and I know what it is, but I can't say it. Like I'm like. There's something there, but I, I can't quite put my, my finger on it. Is it a fruit? Is it floral? That's interesting that you say floral. Is it almost like I'm smelling violets, but it's tasting in my mouth like violets? That's a, could be that. <laughs> <laughs> that. That's it. That's what it was. <laughs> that's you know, it. It's yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, uh, I really enjoy it, like I said, because I really love a sparkling. Um but I'm almost embarrassed to say that I actually had no idea that a rosé was a red. I actually thought it was a combination of red and white my whole oh, life. Oh, don't be embarrassed. Everyone thinks that. Everyone thinks it's a mixture, a combination of a red wine and a white wine. 
when really it's a usually a red grape that has been pressed off of its skins, left with it for just a little moment, and then those skins are removed. Yeah. And the rest of the wine is left to ferment as this lovely sort of light pink heavenly goodness. Yeah, and like Andrew said, the color, the rose gold to me, Yeah, like this is such a classy glass. Absolutely. I love love it. So cool. Oh, good. Classy glass. Yeah. (laughs) I like that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, and honestly, I'm not like a big... Um, I like champagne, I guess, but like Merlot, Cab Merlot, that sweet, that dry mix, it, that's kind of my thing. Yeah, call uh, me at 7 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this I was very impressed with. I loved oh, it a lot. Good. Yeah. yeah, it was I'm a good glad. choice. Because it, really it wasn't good like choice. super, super intense. We have a convert. Yeah, yeah. I think so. so well, I so would be buying this one for sure. I'm Absolutely. wondering now, so where do you get this? Because yeah. you said it's, a, it's all Online. digital. Online. Yeah, okay, so you got to okay. go online to get it. It's not... Not in the LCBO? Yeah, it's 2027sellers.ca. Interesting. 2027. $25. Yeah. Love it. That's a good I'm going to be ordering some of it for sure. Yeah. It's delicious. And you should too. And you, yeah. (laughs) But usually, usually we'd be saying like, where are they located? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, man, they don't. Yeah, but you can see where they go. So you you can't even go and see. I believe there is a winery that they are associated with. I can't think of it on the top of my head because I'm so used to using my fingers now to do anything. Everything is done. Tip, send, and it's (laughs) at my doorstep. That's awesome. 2027 sellers. You know, it's funny. We were actually gifted. I don't know which wine it was. It is a bubbly. uh, But I have it. Blanc de Blanc. I don't know which one it is. We have it, though. Yeah. So now I'm excited because I... It's been sitting there, and I now haven't you know had it's lovely. Oh. Yes, exactly. Well, you might want to hold on to it for a special occasion, yeah. depending on its vintage. I mean, this is 2016. Okay, so we're in 2021 right now. Good five years in the bottle. Yeah, and that second fermentation that makes the bubbles that happened right here in this exact bottle. So a lot of development happening in this wine, and probably in the one that's in your cellar right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if somebody wants to come and see you and pick your brain as a sommelier, you'd find me at Barbea. Barbea at Barbea yeah. and Wine Bar. Yeah. All right, and nice. that's a new that's a new uh, new restaurant bar that uh, it's a great spot because we've yeah. got a retail store, a full wine shop, and we do tapas and um, you know small plates. Yeah. It's beautiful. Awesome. I love it. We've been several times. It's yeah. amazing. Oh, good. I'm uh, glad you like it. Yeah, but we didn't. Uh, we haven't. Great we haven't seen you there. We haven't had the pleasure of, yeah. of you serving us the wine. Yeah, but we'll I do. Um, uh, I have this great schedule that I've managed to create for myself. Eleven. Eight. <laughs> you started eleven and ended twelve. Uh, I started eleven and ended four, <laughs> and um, you'll be lucky to find me. I work a lot behind the scenes, and I'm not in on the weekends, and I'm not in on. Weeknights. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Weekends and evenings off. So then nice. it's it's mostly bubbly then. So it's mostly bubbly <laughs> for me at work. Yeah. That's yeah. right. My daytime drink, bubbly. <laughs> yeah. I love nice. it. That's yeah. amazing. Awesome. Absolutely. Okay. Well, All thank right. you so much. Yeah. Thank oh, yeah. you. Pleasure. Pleasure. I, I, actually, I think I learned more today than any other guest. Uh <laughs> Because like just the way that you explain it, yeah, it well, was. Uh, I, I'll tell you, like it was. It was awesome. well for Thanks, me. Seven. It was because this is the first, uh, like bubbly, yeah, right. And so, like I said, yeah. we're we're all familiar with the reds and the whites, and then not so much this. So it was like an action packed, information packed episode. So thank you. Yeah, you're most welcome. And and awesome. Internationally Thanks accredited sommelier. 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 Did I say it wrong? I, I don't know. Did so I say it far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, thank you so much for coming Thanks, out. Andrew. That was thank amazing. You so much thank you for coming on. Thank you, yeah. you so much. And uh, for those of you out there, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next time.